this is the red E250S razor again. Here the valve stem on here is kind of cocked over. So when you put the extension piece in here to line up uh, to fill it with air, unfortunately this has been bent over. Of course the extender is hidden in the handlebar grip here. This piece here. And I'm going to stop the camera and see if I can actually feed this in here. I go around here and see where it lines up. Since the stem is cocked over, I can't get this on. Now maybe I can push real hard with my finger. What may have happened is this may have run low on air and then it bent the uh, valve stem over. So you can't get this on here right now with this unless I try to bend it back or rotate if this has got a tube rotated on the rim some. Now it's flat. You can rotate this. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I can rotate that around. Isn't that cool? I can rotate. Look at this. This is the tire and this is the rim. I can move this back and forth. So what I've done is I've took the jackknife gone in here, pushed down the Schrader valve. The Schrader valve was the little doodad. It's been around since God, bicycles came out in what, 1880, 1890? Something like that. I don't know. But uh, let that out. Now I can rotate this around, get this all lined up. Now I can inflate it. So what probably happened is this got ridden with a low tire and then this rotated around and got forborked in the sense that it's got uh, got goofed up to be crude so that it you can't fill it up and since they couldn't fill it up they couldn't ride it and then that's why they probably didn't charge it up I'm gonna rotate this around so it's square that way the extender doodad can go in there and then I'm going to go in here with the hand pump and pump this sucker up. Screw this thing on here like this and then pump it up. Stop the camera for just a second to put that on. Still don't have any air in here. I've got this down to where that depresses the Schrader valve. I'll line this up. It's about square through there. There it is. I've got it hooked up. Got the hand pump. It's about 36, about 38. When I let this go, it's supposed to be about 36. I got about 38 on there. This is a little hand pump from Scruggs and Tupelo. I think Harbor Freight has these. That's undone. Now, since this is all lined up, I can go through and pretty much put this on. But if it ever gets low, what will happen is that the tire rotate with respect to the rim and the stem will get bowled over and then you can never fill it up. And that's probably what happened on this unit. Of course, when you're done with the extender, make sure you stick it back in the handlebar here. Good idea so you don't lose it. Everybody knows this, but just for the epilogue, this is where the extender goes. Hide it here in the bicycle grip just so you don't lose it right hand grip. Good place to store it.